Alright, hello, this is Haven Didco, and I've got a couple more things to toss at you now that you've got your trees and your landscape done. I'm going to show you a little bit about adding some more detail to the terrain. So, um, with our scene opened up again and the project opened up, and of course we saved it after we got this done, I'm going to come into the fifth um, or sixth button over here and this is for paint details and this is actually really kind of fun because of uh, a little effect that you can get from this one so I'm gonna kind of turn this around here so maybe we can see it a little bit better and I'm afraid that I've got my uh, maybe I don't have enough detail on my terrain but Okay, so with the Edit Details button, I'll click on this, and I'm going to add a grass texture. So when I add the gra te grass texture and click on this one here, I'm going to choose a grass and not just one of the textures that I use to paint the actual um, ter uh, terrain with. Uh, this is a detail of the landscape, not so much of just the terrain. And where this took a texture that got painted on, what we're going to be using is a texture of a, uh, a model. So something like, um, let's go with, let's go with this bush right here. So double click on it. And we're going to change the colors here just to make them uh, nicer to see for us. So. We'll get done with that and we will hit add. So now we have this. This gets put on a plane. So when we click to add these the way that we did the trees, it's going to be nothing but planes and this image will get put on there. And the transparency, which is um, kind of basically the blue area of the image preview here, that is going to be transparent. But something else that's really nice happens with this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm going to paint it. This The soft size and the hard edge doesn't really matter much here. So brush size up. Uh, it's a bush, so we'll put it up a little bit. And now I'm just going to paint bushes here. Now if they don't come through, let's see. One of the reasons is actually, why is that doing that? Because it's so small. So let's see if we can. These are planes and they're very hard to see. Uh, let me go into perspective here. Maybe that'll be easier to see. Okay, there we go. So, um... Oh, they're all upside down, aren't they? Actually, not really. But there's a lot of them there. Do you see all those? So let me go ahead and erase it. And watch what happens. As I pull back, they disappear. And that's because of the LOD. They are set to disappear at like 80 meters away. So we don't really see them because we're uh, more than 80 meters away. So let me just come in here and erase these real quick. Because it's way too dense. That's not giving me what I want. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer here. Oh, that's much nicer now. You can see the painting that I've done here. So let me do scattered. Let me put the opacity down a little. And let's see what happens. Uh, there's still so many of them. Okay, let's erase these real quick. Or at least some of them. Okay, so now as we get in here and you can see these bushes. <laughs> Sorry, are you going dizzy yet from watching me do this? Okay, so let me see. 
can't really take the strength up. Let's let's edit this and see. Let's put this to five, and let's put this to five. Let's just see what happens with that. Okay, it's a little bit better. They're a little bit bigger now. Okay, so with this done, let's click on this play button. And this is your first introduction into seeing your game in action. So we'll click play, and not really much happens. Let's go back um, with the play button selected. If we go back into the scene, there. We can see the bushes now swaying with the wind and stuff. You can't just see them in the regular game view, but you can see them if you hit play and then come back to the scene. So that's kind of fun. And these have all kinds of settings. So you can determine how they move with the wind, how strong it is, what direction it's going in, all kinds of things like that. And you can see that the transparency here is totally um, respected. So we can't add more here as you see. We have to actually turn this off. So click that again. And then I thought we could add some more. And it's not letting me add any more. Oh, because my opacity is at zero. And it's not going to give any at zero because you're saying zero strength. Gosh, that's so many. I guess I'm just going to have to delete a couple by holding shift and erasing some of them. The scatter just isn't scattered enough. I wonder what this one would be like. Ah, uh, still the same. But you can see that we can work our way around it and get a closer um, amount to what we want by just playing around a little bit. Okay, so that's um, that's one way of doing these. Okay, so now what we also have, oh, look at these ones up here. There we go, some cute little ones left to go over. Okay, so what else we can do is we can edit details, and this time, instead of the grass texture, we'll do detail mesh. And so when we click on this, we can pull up, let's say, a rock mesh. And we want to take the um, render mode from grass to vertex lit and we want to change the color we'll change the color later i want you to see it when it happens and so clicking on the rock texture and opacity i'm going to take down to 0.1 and brush size we'll just take down and see if we can't add a rock or two where we want so and again kind of nice because they oh, just randomly go in there. All right, so now um, also let's go ahead and do that color thing. So edit details and edit it. And now we can take the color. And you see we can change the color on them. And let's see, so there's some colors. We'll put the brush size up a little. Nice, you got this big, ugly chunk, which I don't like. I like just one or two random rocks here or there instead of having those big clumps of them everywhere. So, shift and Let's do shift and erase. Okay. So yeah, there we go. We'll just like add one rock at a time. And there, that's good. I like that like that. 
Now the thing is, is that you can't really go in here, and you see they're not here in your um, uh, hierarchy, so you can't click on one and move it around, really. But you can paint them exactly where you want them to be. And you can always come back and change that so they can go wherever you want. All right, so that was just two more little um, uh, things that I wanted you to uh, see uh, as far as adding detail to your to your scene here. All right, go ahead and add some detail to yours and go to File and Save Scene, File and Save Project. And once again, please subscribe and share and let everybody know we're doing this and see if they want to join us. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have fun.